Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. We're sat back at Lee with our newly created station and uh, I'm actually curious as to whether they'll uh, start using this tram station before we've set up the line to Bradford. It is Bradford, isn't it? Not Bedford. Bradford on Avon. They might. I mean, there are places to go other than the station. But yes, that's what we're doing today, guys. We are going to uh, extend or create a new commuter line to uh, Bradford. <laughs> Is it Bradford? I'm going to check, do you know, before I keep saying it. And we've got a new little diesel, by the looks of things. BRV100. Almost like a little shunter, isn't it? I feel like I've seen those in Train Simulator. Yeah, but anyway... Distracted already. There we go. Bradford on Avon. This is where we're heading. And we're actually going to uh, join in with our existing network. There goes our planes. To Sandhurst. And this section, this cross country section, is going to terminate at Sandhurst. So we'll need to finally redo this station. It's going to get a little bit busier and a little bit bigger. We're going to leave the bypass tracks in. Because regardless of whether we use these two, we're going to have another platform on the other side, but uh, regardless of whether we use these, I would like it as an option for possibly freight manoeuvres. We might have a different express going across country. What else could we have? Is that a train coming? There we go, a little local commuter. These might get busier, right? When we connect this line to, or this station to Lee Direct, via a cross-country service it might reduce the amount of people on the express as those people on the express we have got a race over here look at that uh, should we get on one i know it's a bit early for a, for a cab ride but uh, we're on board there we go we are lighter aren't we and more powerful i think than the uh, ore trains i'm not sure about lighter actually we're definitely more powerful but we've maxed out now. These are still running with the uh, 50 mile an hour wagons. Do we do we change that? I don't know. I don't know. Eventually, more than likely. These are perfectly balanced though. And considering, if we bring up the line details, considering these guys are, are running to the actual line rate, I know it doesn't look like it there, but if we look at suppliers, we're getting 100% of our 800 per year meaning we are indeed supplying everything we can it's always better i found to look at uh, these figures here the transport figure if that says 100 percent, regardless of what the line rate says you're meeting the line rate however the line rate is a good indicator as to uh, whereabouts you are in meeting that demand if we do look at them, you'll see it, it says 826, so we know we're ahead of the game there. And uh, 795 is close enough. But uh, obviously, when you look at here, we are supplying 100%. Yes, yeah, so definitely do that. Right, let's go over to the, uh, as was pointed out, the uh, beautifully convoluted tram line we have in Lee. I like it. It does the job. It could be two separate lines the only real issue you'll have with running this as a big old line is if this side of town or this part of the route is less used than say this section then it's going to be difficult to balance isn't it but as it stands it looks okay doesn't it we'll have to check on the figures so far we've got a few different approaches haven't we we've got the dual lines over here uh, that run sort of parallel with each other that could be two loops and we may still change them to two loops we've got the uh, I don't know what to call this someone said it looked like a person a person running someone's feet oh I see like is that the what is that is that like a creature and these are the little feet yes I can see that like a big body up here and then little feet maybe is that what you mean <laughs> it's close isn't it yeah i'm looking forward to seeing what happens with this i really am i guess one thing you, you can check now 
I mean, it hasn't been running that long, but has it improved our line uses? There we go. We hit the magical figure, guys. 75% line use to Ailsham. That was our target. We're not going to get that to 100%. If we can get it higher than 75%, I'll be mightily impressed and happy. There we go. 17% of the people who live and work and shop in Lee are using this tram rather than taking their cars. To be fair, it's looking that way, isn't it? Because the, uh, the streets have quietened down quite a bit. And if that continues, this trend continues, it's going to be as quiet as our other towns. We are going to check on those. Look at that. I do like them using uh, multiple lanes. It's really nice to see. Right, anyway, shall we get building to uh, Bradford here? We might as well put the station in first, try and figure out where the tram's going in Bradford. I know I'm always having trams, but for a main connection to uh, a station, trams are the way to go. It's just because of the capacity. Later on, the newer buses do compete quite well with trams, but then, uh, then your trams get longer as well. We have a lovely lovely main tram route down here don't we right shall we uh, start progressing and get us connected we've got to do a little bit of a curve here and then we we head this way and then we're curving in and we're going to share our current express uh, route for now because we will be diverting the express eventually not those streets we might put these in somewhere I don't think they're needed. I'm really tempted to put them in. What we're going to lose? Two buildings will be removed. Some will be moved. I think it's usually like little buildings get uh, shoved out the way. Oh no, not here because we ain't got much room. Oh, please don't get rid of the big... Uh, oh, it's going to get rid of the big tower. Well, one of them's staying. So that's something. I mean, they can always uh, rebuild them, can't they? In fact, we'll keep an eye out for that. I'm surprised they've got towers already. There's not really much happening up here, is there? Well, there's about to be a lot happening. Can we go down here as well? We'll have this as a nice big uh, turnaround. I like that idea. Right, and can we just go straight through there? No, but we can do that. Beautiful. Should we get some early official episode going? Get rid of these potholes and make it look like we're actually developing the land over here rather than plonking stuff down. Uh, we would have done all this street work, wouldn't we, as well? So that would be all nice and smoothed out where we've uh, leveled the ground. Uh, do you know what else I'm going to do? We, let's say we used some of these rocks for something. So we need to get into here, get our assets, get the delete. I have been going around slowly, but surely deleting a bunch of rocks, usually where we've been building. Because it would make sense. We might utilise <laughs> the rocks. I don't know how. I mean, they could be useful, couldn't they? They could be used in our buildings. I don't know how uh, sturdy these rocks are. Or even what they are. Well, where are you going now, Grand? You're going miles away. Over here, though. Definitely get rid of these. I'll save that for in between episodes. And it looks like we do have a connection, don't we, to Lee? Yeah, we've got a main road here. We're going to compete yet again with the AI and we're not going to cheese it and make this road as rubbish as possible so that uh, no one goes on. This one, yes, we could work this better, couldn't we? We could have a, a shortcut down here. It could run alongside. However, I don't want to work too many improvements and additions to the road system yet because we're going to bring in a motorway at some point a highway or freeway because I think that will be uh, an interesting addition to the map right it's going to be scenery concrete scenery but uh, and tarmac but it is it's scenery nonetheless right now we've got our our place where we're going we're going over here do we want to run through or have it on the side I tend not to run them through when I like these big roads here because it shrinks it down to a smaller road, unfortunately. Uh, we don't have any tram stops that are uh, four lane in the middle. Right, we'll get you in there, hopefully. 
it lines up nice. Oh yes, we should go maximum. I'm trying to line it up exactly with, with that line in the road there. Did I manage it? I think close enough, right? Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, if that's the same height, isn't that nice? If that's the same height, is it? I think it is, isn't that lovely? Oh, oh, will it be the same the other side? I'm hoping. It's very symmetrical. Usually, I'm not overly bothered about it being asymmetrical. But uh, it's, it's nice when that happens. Oh, that kind of, oh, yes. Guys, I love that. I love that. I think our train's going to uh, look the business here. What do we want? We want... Uh, we'll go with the basics, right? And I guess we can put it in slightly off-center and then add to it. I don't know how big of a building we'll need. Or we could build it and it just need to get that level, don't we? Uh, with the, uh, the stop here. If we just put it in there and then we go in and modify it, can we make it uh, look the business? It's one of these on the end. Oh, we can't. They're too big. Yeah, they won't fit in. Should we have like a little like, entrance over here? Maybe a little building over there, like separate them. Yeah, there we go. We'll have another entrance over there. Two separate buildings. Is that? No, I don't like it. I don't like it. I tell you what we can do then if we delete this and we go a little further back I think that should leave us the room to get a nice big station building in here for our cross-country service we don't have an electric passenger train yet do you know what let's do it we'll uh, electrify this part of the line and we'll have to partially electrify down where we're uh, connecting because it was requested we have some access track down by Lee and I kind of like that idea we can do something regardless of us using it but we can do something fancy with it right let's get you there will that connect in no will the bigger one yes there we go I like it that's tidier isn't it I prefer that over what I did originally we've got a main building here we've got a kind of side access over here and this one links to this side. This one links to that side. Now uh, we'll get some official episoding in here. Get it all nice and tidy. Lovely. Lovely. So we're going with electric loco. Which means... Oh no we're not. That means we'll have to start electrifying this as well. No not yet. Soon. Soon. I think this will be electrified though. Maybe. I think we're going to have to do the, the lot aren't we? Eventually. I would like to keep a, a mix of uh, locos though, go with some diesel and electrics. Although I think the diesels stop at some point, I'm not actually sure, I can't remember with the, uh, the European set. Oh, should we tidy this up as well? We can get it the same gravel effect. Uh, it's tarmac actually, I think. Is it this one? Yeah, it's that one, isn't it? Is that the same that's at the front, or is it different at the front? No, that's the one. There we go. There we go. We'll get all this like it's supposed to be. There we go. Isn't that lovely? Tidy that up as well. Get that bit of grass gone. Don't know what it's there for. We'll have a bit of extra pavement down here. I might install the... Uh... Oh, yeah. Let's tidy this up like that. Might install the fences mod. I'm not sure if they come with a maintenance cost. It's a little unfair if it does because uh, it serves no benefit gameplay wise. So having a maintenance cost just so it looks better is a little bit wrong. There might not be. I can't remember. If there isn't, then that would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? It'd be like a, it's just a, a beautification thing. Right, what am I doing? Yes, I wanted to add more in here. We're going to go with a, a nice tarmac -y effect all around here. There we go. Tidy it all up. Get it like uh, one big area. Oh, we higher just a little bit. Yeah, that's unfortunate, isn't it? That's a lot unfortunate. I thought I had that about spot on. It looks spot on. Ah, oh, we'll just call it the game's quirkiness. There we go. 
Right, this side, I'm going to leave a little bit of green over there. And maybe put some bushes in. Those uh, lovely elderberry, was it? I think it was elderberry. We'll put those in on the other side. But over up to there. Paint it all in nicely. And we'll have uh, some elderberry bushes down here. Will you look nice? Let's get the placement one. It's going to make a bit of a mess of our... Oh, no, it hasn't. I was going to say make a mess of our concrete tarmac or whatever it's supposed to be but it has not oh that's pleasant we might have a little uh, a little tree in the middle there yeah a little uh, whatever trees these are what are they red delicious ap apple trees you can go and grab an apple on the way to the train all right there we go there we go i like that something different we might do the same over there it's now asymmetrical yeah i might do it down there as well Right then, shall we connect this up? Where is our track? We want to be curving off that way slightly, heading over to a straight line up there. What are the heights? Let's find out, shall we? Uh, we've got 10 meters there, and we've got to get two. It looks fairly flat, but it, it could be deceiving. No, I can see here. We've definitely got a, a major contour there, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. Uh, what are we going to be up here then? 54 meters? Goodness me, it's not even close to being level. We've got a we've got a dive, 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 haven't we? You can see I was weeding. Unfortunately, that has now been undone. Right, let us head down then. We can follow this, can't we? Yeah, we'll gradually head down. Are we going to gain enough there? I think we're going to have to go a bit more than that. There we go. That should do. We're losing, uh, what, three meters in that little section there. I think we're going to have to be a little more aggressive than that. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Doesn't matter if we make a bit of a cutting, does it? Cuttings exist, although for that, we can probably just smooth it out. Are we decreasing our height enough? I think we are, and almost with the terrain. It looks like we can have this as a bridge, which would be a, a nice bit of scenery on the route. We've kind of got the the angle here, haven't we? Right, do we go deep enough here to make a little bridge? I think we would. Yeah, what are we at now? 33 metres. Right, let's head straight here. I think we are, aren't we? We're going gonna to make us a little road bridge over the top. Beautiful. We'll put a new road in there and everything. No, don't do that. We've still got to head down. 28 meters i think that'll be enough for a bridge we'll make a bit of room either side uh, we can always go up a touch can't we because this looks like it's heading down uh, right let's get uh, some footing room flatten out the sides here we may have to go a little further than we want due to the, the track not being terraformed underneath actually what we could do uh, get rid of that completely get this level here flatten it and then go over the top of it what do you say about that we need to still head down don't we yes all right continue our way down we'll smooth off the edges here although it looks nice doesn't it it doesn't look too bad except for that rock we don't don't need that happening or that tree right let's hope that's give us enough room for a little bridge um, we'll try going over to start with let's get our country road do we want it a main road what is it like an access road just an access road will that make a <laughs> it's brilliant guys yeah there we go about perfect all right we'll delete it there and we'll just continue off that way beautiful and do the same there We'll tidy this up a little bit. We'll still go a bit wiggly. There we go. We want to run with the, the terrain. And we'll upgrade. There and there. And why not there? We're going to redo that road, aren't we, for them as well. And we'll get that upgraded as well. Beautiful. There we go. A little access road going over the top. I do like it. Yes, that's pleasant. Right. How are we doing on our journey to the train station here? It looks to be a gradual climb for us, doesn't it, so far? Uh, two ticks down, 
Ooh, really? I don't think a tunnel's required, is it? Get rid of that. No tunnels. We're not going to have tunnels on this bit. I don't think they're needed. We might have one here. It depends. What are we at? 16. We can start leveling out soon, can't we? Here we go. We go... Ooh! Ooh, I don't like what happened there. Don't crash. Oh, guys. That, that was worrying. It froze for the longest of times. Yes, right. We're going to have a tunnel just here. If it needs one. Actually, we can take some of the slope off. Yes, have a little tunnel there because we're near this factory. I think I like the idea of that. That made me... Everything flashed before my eyes there. Right, there we go. We can come into here. I'm going to have this come out straight, though. And flat. There we go. We're going to take the electrification back off. I like this. I like this little tunnel. It's very tiny, isn't it? And it gives us some access across the top should we need it. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah, there we go. That's a proper cutting. Just needs a, a little bit of work either side to get it probably about that far apart. Uh, it's, it's unfortunate it's on a slope, but something like that is what we need to do. Again, the problem is you get the, the tracks doing that. So you kind of have to go out further, then you have to smooth it, or you do it and then you uh, do the bits at the side then you delete the track and then you flatten it out, uh, which is probably the, the quickest way. But that gives us a bit of breathing room, doesn't it? Either side of the track. There we go. And then, of course, you would get your uh, ballast here and do a little bit of weeding. Then you would have uh, not all this at the side here, probably go with something like that and then we want our dirt wherever that is and just have that on the edges there something a little different down the side here there we go i do like that it, it does add to it something i um i saw in train sim world train sim world 2 uh, when we was driving the Scottish route, the new one, the uh, the circle line, and it, it kind of had this effect, and it it does look the business, doesn't it? Yeah, I like that. There we go. Pleasant. Okay, we can't do that all episode. We've got to continue before we do anything, and I'm going to remove the catenary here. I might also save it because I'm a little bit worried that uh, we lose all of this. Yeah, should we? I'm going to save it. A midway save. I don't do that very often. There we go. We have a midway save. All of this is uh, it's now on my hard drive. So if we do have an issue, we can we can just load it back up from this point, which is going to be the next half of our journey. It's going to go up there. It's quite a way, isn't it? Yeah. And because we're, or I believe we're always going to stop at this station as far as our passenger routes go. And if we need a bypass line, we could just take one around the side there and have it bi-directional. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Talking of bridges, 10 meters there, which hasn't changed from the last time I checked, to 13, so about right. Let's get us a branch off here. And we're obviously going to have to re-signal this. I hope this is nice and flat. It looks like it's nice and flat. We want to come off here, and ideally at 75, we want this to be a nice quick junction. And we want to keep it level, please. There we go, lovely. By the way it's done this, it looks like it is indeed nice and flat. Yeah, nice Y junction there, almost. It does a little wiggle here. Yeah, it's close, it's close. I'll leave it as that for now. Right, then we're heading that way, aren't we? at 75 we want to do the inside first don't we as that's going to be the one that's the uh, slowest should it slow down right are we are we heading roughly in the right direction we want to get that a little tighter and uh, we'll draw it all with this inside track we do need to go 
and head down at some point but i like the fact that it's it's lovely and flat at the moment we're going to curve slightly out we're going to go past that there that factory we do have a main road here as well there we go yeah all the way to uh sandhurst so we're going to be competing now a lot with our ai ai people in cars now how do i want this to happen over here it's a local line i'm saying commute uh, local commuter so a crossing on the main road i sort of like that yeah we're gonna have to get rid of this get rid of that junction get rid of that main connection just for now we're gonna have us a nice flat section just here so we can go across nicely with our road right we're already connected to sandhurst we're gonna have to redo that uh that station though i don't think we do today although i will give it a go if we've got time and this is going to be a bit of a tight turn isn't it down to 65 which uh i think i'll take that i like that for a little commuter line since we are stopping here there we go lovely take that up to there let's get the crossing in we're going to have a main road coming across here and we'll get it nice and flat just where we're going to have the crossing somewhere like that how's that is that too bad i don't mind really the road doing it uh, it's it's okay yeah i like that this is usually a little bump in a level crossing isn't there for road users you are now going to have a is this lee no 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 it's not dear oh dear we would have gone miles if that was Lee. This is Bradford. I keep wanting to call it Bedford. Definitely no Bedford on Avon. As far as I know. Right. Get you... No. What have you done, Grant? You've changed that to a country road. Not what you want. Right. We do want this, though. This is going to be the road out of town. And, oh, we need that curvy, don't we? Come out of town nice like that. And we should be able to uh, hook up into the road we've got crossing over there. Which doesn't look too bad, to be fair. Right, do we need that wiggle? Not really. Are we going to do a better job of a bridge? Yes. Are we going to have it that close to the factory? Maybe. Depends how well we get it. Right, bring that up there a little straighter. Let's redo their bridge for them, because that is terrible. Well, I mean, it's, it's a bridge, isn't it? I don't like it though. I'm going to do something a little different. This is just awful round here, isn't it? Goodness me. Uh, where's that road going? That's just an access road. Right. We do want the bridge though. And we will go like straight across. But we're going to do, hopefully, a better job of this. And do we want it quite high? It, just in case we, uh, we take boats down here we haven't got boats yet and i do want to put boats in dear oh dear one two three will that give us enough clearance mm, yeah, yeah kinda maybe maybe a bit more one more we want it nice and high we can do everything else are we getting a uh, a connection there do we want this arched kinda I, I, we do kind of have an area there to get through on boats it's not really doing the arches how i want though to be fair so i say we try that one that's better isn't it there we go that's better we're gonna put this in if we delete from there and redraw it is that perfectly uh straight now not quite almost we'll go from there then we'll put a bit here is that flat this bit's flat perfect right get that bit flat there and then we will draw it from our nice flat section there we go now you go across and you should be perfectly flat beautiful and we're going to use that one because it does a better job for bridges if we do it there we've got no interference with boats at all let's just double check lovely and we can get through up there as well that's a better bridge isn't it 
to better bridge. Right, send that round there. And we'll have that as an embankment. So that's going to come round that way. And then it's going to head down. There we go. Like that. And because I don't know what I'm doing with this yet. So we can come off this way. And then hook that in. Where it's connected there. And hopefully up to that point as well. There. And then we'll have that bit tidied up. That's that's okay, isn't it? Yeah, I kind of like that. We could probably have this a little bit higher when we come to doing whatever we're going to do up here. That was the wrong one. Get this looking the business. Maximum. Get you on ginormous. Tidy this edge up a little bit. It's more like a slope. Oh dear, that wasn't pleasant, was it? Right, so we've got that bit, we've got that bit. We need to now, did it go that way? It did, didn't it? Can we then make that into a, a junction? Or, no, I know what would be better. Uh, get that curvy again. Okay, this is, this is taking a little longer than I thought it would. Because I can't help myself but try and make it look nice. Right then, you go over there, and then you head down that way. Pleasant. Then we'll uh, upgrade this. So it all looks the part, and then we'll get the uh, smoothing on that bit where we connect. Because there should be a lot of reinforcement under that, shouldn't there? Get that as big as possible. There we go. Lovely. It just makes uh, some strange edges to the side of the road if you don't smooth it out a little bit. There we go. Official episode galore. That looks better over there now. And then we'll meet up with the existing road and that should redo the connection, shouldn't it, I think? Isn't that everything? Like that. And it's not too bad, is it? Pleasant. Get rid of that obvious embankment stuff that the game's done oh yeah we've got that to connect back up haven't we well it doesn't need to be connected back up but we might as well and as well as this access road here get you connected in just there get you connected in just there either side of the of the crossing it's beautiful right there's the little access road there that's been done do we like that? I do. This bit just needs smoothing out a touch. Then we've got our connection there. And uh, what we'll do is we'll re-signal this up quickly. Uh, get the route initially done. Then we'll tidy up and, and do a big rebuild when we come back of uh, Sandhurst. And... We should have enough time then, because we've done most of our work over here, to build up to uh, Romsey. So we're going to need some signalling up here. Why are we... Oh, you haven't connected this up. Ah, yes, and that road's awful anyway, so let's give them a better road. There we go. And we'll just head towards the terrain here. We want that nice and curvy, because we're going to slowly head down there then we'll we'll keep the wiggling sort of just not as aggressive as they had it and can't help myself more official episode looks pleasant doesn't it there we go take some of that embankment out not all of it just a little bit yeah there we go is that tidier i like that i like that we've got the bridge across there Right, let's improve this last bit of road for them. Down here. There we go. Get you connected up. Might as well do that access road as well. It looks wonderful. Up and down. Curvy Worthy. And then across the uh, river there. The River Avon, I guess. Bradford on Avon. Yep. <laughs> right. Now we need to redo this. We don't need a signal after 
that junction. Instead, we'll have the signal before the junction. Ooh, what are you clicking on there? The signal before the junction blocking that. In fact, where's our other one here? Yeah, we'll have this a little further away and there's more chance of the express train reserving this block than uh, before the commuter does. That is the trio of signals that guard that, uh, that junction there. Beautiful. And we can technically come in here for now, can't we? Uh, we'll need uh, another crossover going that way, though. Or, yes, we would. We would. It may slow down our express sometimes. If we do the crossover just there, I think we'll be fine. Uh, 60, which way we're heading? We'll be heading this way, so we'll be accelerating heading out. So I think 60 be enough. I don't think we'll get up to 60. Uh, we'll have a two-way signal just here to uh, block access to the main line. We've got the signal there. Uh, we've got signal block in here. We actually cross over like this. We could technically avoid it, but this is only temporary. It's just enough to get it uh, in there. And we're only going to have one train running this just for now. So we need a signal off the main line here, just blocking the station. And we want the same on here, which is a little worrying. No, we'll leave that one. Uh, our train shouldn't be too long. So it's only going to back on to its, its own path while it's waiting for entry into the station. This one will get priority from from back here oh i don't like it this is risky guys i don't recommend doing a two-way signal just there when you've got multiple trains coming this way because we've got one here and one there we could of course have not one there that would work as well uh, but yes since we're going to have another train coming this way we're going to have this as a temporary solution right now we don't need signaling down here because we're going to put a temporary depot in this side of the bridge uh, we'll need a temporary crossover as well won't we for now so we'll have that um, that way yeah there we go just like that 46 a strange number 45 can we go with 45 there we go we'll have it just like that for now meaning we can have our temporary depot back here i do want to set up a nice depot area down here let's start as a new line this is going to be the cross country line isn't it yes we could have it cross country color as well um, as in cross country in the uk uh, all the way up to there and back to bradford and then back to lee transfer we'll do all the renaming what color is cross country like a maroon isn't it that's going to be our cross country color. This will be currently Lee to Sandhurst. Right, that's it. Good. Let's just build us the same train we have here. So what's that? That's the uh, Scotsman with one, two, three, four, five carriages on. We need to get us a Scotsman on and we'll add maroon carriages for this one. Passenger, we want five of these, don't we? And it's the last of the reds. One, two, three, four, five. Get you on there. Get you on Lee. 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 <laughs> late. Late to Sandhurst. Are we? Are we going to run late on this one all the time? Is that what's happening? Can we rename that? Because that's awful. I didn't even notice. Go Wait, that's Lee. There it is. Late. Spelt really bizarrely. Right, Lee. All right, guys, we're on board our brand new service. Uh, we've got it in. We've got it set set up, and it's not bad. We're just going to blow our whistle as we go over the top of the... It's possibly going to be a main line as well. The express might go under there. Uh, depends what I'm doing with the whole connection. I feel like having a permanent depot over here, uh, but that's something to work on. I think next time out we can do that. We can do that. We can finalize the station area around Sandhurst 
we'll have our tram in as well. Uh, I saved it before we headed out, so we haven't got to worry about missing out on uh, passengers not thinking this is a, a good option for them. But now, we'll go on a, a partial journey on this, and then we'll go on a, a better journey once we've got it all built. Thank you for watching, guys. Nice build today. I love that. We've got that connection of, at the bridge, which, uh, which makes me happy. Big old build to come, haven't we, at Sandhurst? Guys, thanks again for watching, and until next time, take care.